This is the best way to three star any district in just two attacks. Ever since the super miners received their second nerf, they really haven't been as good as they once were, especially if you're starting to see more maxed out designs. But Golem and Sparky have been very dominant against both rushed and maxed bases, so let's break down how you can use these versus different type of districts. Let's start with a compact design similar to the Golem Quarry. This is where the Sparky is incredibly good and can get a lot of value. Pretty much in an attack like this, you're going to be starting by expanding the placement map with some Super Barbarians. You should be following this up by using a haste spell with the Giant and Sparky to start moving in and a an Graveyard spell in order to start tanking. You can use a Battle Ram in order to start opening walls and use Using those giants within the haste will really help. You can bring in some other support troops such as things like the skelly, skelly barrel or another graveyard spell in order to continue to keep your sparky protected. That's the main mission. Other than this, you have your hog raiders that are mainly going to be there with the stun. And if they can get some really good amount of damage there, you can really clear through with the sparky's insane splash. With the hog raiders though, make sure that you're using them over defenses that are really going to do a lot of damage to your sparky that way it can stay distracted and of course you have the sparky all ready to go other than this you're just going to allow the sparky to finish off whatever left that you can of the base getting hopefully up to 50 percent or a little bit more and this will allow you to keep yourself moving using any other support troops to keep the sparky protected and of course getting value which is really going to help for your second hit. Now with your second hit, the Golem is the best finisher for most districts, so this is no surprise in being really strong. You've got two Frost Spells, and you're going to use them over as many defenses as you can, and as many key defenses as you can. Things like Blast Bows and Rocket Artillery are very good things to use a Frost over. Using a Giant under the Haste to tank with the Golem within the Haste in order to make sure that you're able to start moving in with the Golem. Of course, you have some of your super miners that you can bring in with the golem in order to control kind of where he goes and you can get a lot of value in this way for the most part your golem is there in order to continue to move in you can bring in the use of something like a lightning spell in order to one shot a rocket artillery with the max golem it can very easily start steamrolling through and the frost is extremely useful in allowing you to basically let the golem do his own thing now for for the most part, you really don't have anything else to do in this attack, so you're just going to let the golem do its own thing, and it will two-shot the base, since the golem is just that strong. It has so much HP, and with double frost, it's nearly impossible to stop. Now, how about against a more spread out base such as Barbarian Camp? Well, you're going to start this off with the Sparky, and it's the same thing as the first attack of a compact base. You're going to expand the placement map, have a haste ready, have a giant, and of course, the Sparky. You don't have to open unnecessary walls, and you want to try and protect as many of your, uh, many of your battle rams as you can. Otherwise, you're basically just going to keep tanking with the giants, and of course, you want to use Use your graveyard spells to tank. Other than this, the only thing that is really going to be incredibly different is that the goal or the spell Sparky will not be able to get nearly as many defenses with the splash, but it really all depends on how clumped up they are. Of course, you want to continue to use giants to tank for your Sparky, but you also want to make sure that you're able to expand the placement. And without that, you're not able to use the hog riders with your Sparky all too well. But as long as you have the giants, they can really get a lot of value. And of course, if you have any of your graveyard spells, they can also help big time. Other than this, you just want to make sure that you are clearing as many defenses as possible and against a more spread out base this can actually work incredibly well having the sparky to clear a bunch of buildings will really help especially since you can clear other defenses and letting your sparky do its own thing without having to worry about its hp 
Now for your second hit, the Golem is really good against spread out designs, especially when you have double frost, it's really gonna be super difficult to stop. But with those frost spells, you're going to be using them over as many defenses as possible. Things like the rocket artillery and double and multi cannons can definitely be a bit of a danger. Using the Golem underneath the existing haste will allow you to start moving in. Now in a, a setup like this, you've actually got the option to bring in the P.E.K.K.A.s. These guys basically can one-shot most things, and they're perfect for cleanup while your Golem is off in a different direction, or they can actually go ahead and clear a different section that is well under protected, or if you're going into something like a Frost. Otherwise, you can pretty much just let a large amount of these troops do their own thing and clear through. The P.E.K.K.A.s are extremely tanky and extremely helpful with the Golem, especially on these spread out designs, where you can get a lot of value out of them. Otherwise, you can really just let the golem smash through and dominate really any spread out design since realistically, this is where the golem works best in. You also have the opportunity of using this combo against Dragon's Cliff where Infernal Dragons can get rid of those pesky Super Dragons. Pretty much in this case, you're going to be running as many troops to support your Sparky. You want to use a Frost over the Blast Bow and Single Inferno, especially if you can get some other defenses or even a Dragon under there, but you do want to make sure that you're using a Giant, the Inferno Dragon to remove a, inf uh, remove a Super Dragon, and just allowing you to have tanks to start moving in. You want to preserve as much HP from the Sparky as you can. So using the Giants sparingly, having the Hog Raiders come in provide support, maybe look for any of the zap traps can really help. Otherwise, this is really surgical and you want to make sure that you're getting through a lot of this. You want to continue to use Inferno Dragons to clear out any sort of dra super dragons that are still left up and you've got rage spells to do some massive splash damage. Lightning spells specifically for the single target Infernos that there are there and of course, you can just really let your Sparky finish up and clear any more defenses that it can. You're gonna get less percent, but if you can try and keep anything else like a couple Inferno Dragons still up or even one to clear a large amount of value and get even more percentage, this can really help for your second attack with the Golem. Now in your second hit, the Golem is really good at tanking the Super Dragon hits, so Inferno Dragons are a guaranteed win even if there's an air defense. So for the most part, you're going to bring in a haste spell in order to get your golem to start moving in. A frost spell should be used over an area that you didn't remove in terms of key defenses like an inferno or the blast bow. Other than this, a giant to start tanking with the golem within. And while that golem is being hit, you can drop an inferno dragon for pretty much a very easy kill on the super dragon. Of course, if it doesn't move. But for the most part, you're going to be doing this while your, while your golem goes all the way around. So once you get to another one, you can use use another Inferno Dragon, and if there's really no defenses around that area, your Inferno Dragons might stay alive, and you're just going to continue to use this. You can really take full advantage of having the Golem tank, and while the Golem might go down to pretty low HP, you will be able to clear through Dragon's Cliff. It might not be the prettiest, but it can still be done as long as you have enough support troops and with the golem just having a lot of HP, it can he can very much clear out Dragon's Cliff in certain occasions. But you really want to make sure that you're dealing with the dragons while the, allowing your golem to do as much damage as possible. If anything, this is a really powerful and super flexible army that you can really get a lot of three stars in just two attacks. However, going back to the home village, if you want a strong strategy to use, check out my super witch guide right here.